Hey YouTubers, I'm Jacob, and this is a how-to video for setting up a bus bar and battery shutoff switch for your travel trailer, camper, or truck. This is on my 2019 Grand Design Imagine, and I've previously upgraded this tongue box to be able to fit two lithium iron phosphate batteries that are both 100 amp hours. And I got so many things hooked up to my batteries with my Bougie RV solar system. I've got a 1000 watt go power inverter and a 500 watt inverter. There's just so many things that I wanna be able to shut everything off at once and also prevent so many different cables from being hooked up to the posts. So I've cleaned it up by adding these bus bars and integrated shut off here, which will shut everything off to the batteries, be able to safely work on them, remove them, you name it. I've included links to all these products and tools I'm using today in the description below. So make sure to click on those and check them out. All right, let's get into it. So the way that these two batteries are connected is there's one leading from positive on this battery on battery two, so that that way they're linked together. There's also one from the negative to the negative and those will need to remain other than that all of these other ones will connect onto the bus bars so i just need to label which ones are going to stay and also too you want to make sure that you have all of your shutoffs and any kind of power draw turned off before you do this so i've shut my solar off and i'm going to do the disconnect which i'm adding a new disconnect that'll account for everything here so i'm going to separate this one here since i know it's going to remain connecting the two batteries from the positives Negative is pretty obvious. Um, it's a little different. It has a, has a positive uh, taped up because I ran out of cable previously. But this will just make it so much clearer having the bus bars on here. Cleaner, safer, easier to shut everything off. clearance on the back side. have any rhyme or reason on this. Uh, I do know this one is the Solar though. And this one is from our 1000 watt inverter, original camper one, 500 watt inverter. And I guess I could put all the inverters on one <laughs> post, that way I know. And before I put the batteries back in, I'm actually going to film my next video, which you should definitely stick around for, and that is installing a battery warmer for my lithium batteries because they, they'll shut off in the 30 degree temps. This way they'll be able to run and I'll be able to camp in the winter time for deer camp and keep the batteries warm. Thanks for watching this how-to video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash on that like button and drop a comment below on your favorite part in this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I'm posting weekly videos for you guys. Thanks for watching.